Okay, hi everyone. So today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem. So it says a wheel starting from rest is uniformly accelerated at uh, 4 radian per second square. For 10 seconds, it is allowed to rotate uniformly for the next 10 seconds and is finally brought to rest in the next 10 seconds. Find the total angle rotated by the wheel. Fine. So they go have three time interval they rakhe hai of 10 seconds. Let's say time t is equal to 0 to 10 seconds, then uh, 10 to 20 seconds then uh, 20 to 30 seconds right initially at time t is equal to 0 omega naught is given 0 rest is a start kiya and uh, alpha de rakha hai pe, that is 4 radian per second square right that is a constant or uniform acceleration so is time interval mein kitna angle rotate karega ye jo wheel hai that is theta 1 how to find out theta 1 simply uh, you know theta 1 will be simply omega naught into t plus half of alpha into t square so omega naught 0 ho gaya by the way time ka value kitna hoga time interval that is 0 to 10 means 10 seconds so you can check uh, omega not 0 so first term 0 half alpha is 4 into t square that is 10 square so how much is this 200 radian right so theta 1 is 200 radian let's uh, move to the next interval yahan pe initial omega kis tarah se find out karenge dekho jo pehle interval ka final omega hoga final omega kis tarah se nikaloge omega naught plus alpha into t omega naught zero alpha is four and t is ten so forty radian per second so this will be the initial omega for the next time interval means omega naught kitna hoga yaha pe forty radian per second aur yaha pe uniform motion hoga uh, it is allowed to rotate uniformly means omega constant raega for the next ten seconds yaha pe time interval again ten second right twenty minus ten ten seconds so yaha pe theta 2 that is the rotation by the wheel in this time interval that will be 40 into 10 omega into t right so that is 400 radian ab yaha pe initial omega kitna hoga dekho yaha pe iske pehle wale interval mein 10 to 20 mein omega constant tha so 20 to 30 ke interval mein initial omega will be same 40 radian per second yaha pe final omega kitna ho jayega zero finally ise hum rest mein le aayenge finally brought to rest in the next 10 seconds right so yahan pe can you find out the value of alpha dekho time interval is again 10 seconds that is 20 to 30 right 10 seconds ka time interval hai then alpha kis tarah se hum likh sakte hain omega final minus omega initial that is omega not divided by time so check karo uh, 0 minus 40 by 10 that is minus 4 radian per second square and uh, hume theta 3 kis tarah se nikal sakte hain theta 3 will be simply uh, same omega naught into t plus half into alpha into t square right so let's see uh, omega naught omega naught yahan pe kitna ho jayega initial omega 40 into 10 uh, plus half alpha will be minus 4 into t square that is 10 square so kitna aa raha hai 400 minus 200 which is again 200 radian right so what will be the final rotation that will be the theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 so check it how much is this uh, 200 400 and 200 that is uh, 800 800 radian is the total rotation of the wheel during this time interval means uh, uh, time t is equal to 0 to time t is equal to uh, 30 second right by the way say hum is tarah se bhi kar sakte hain अब देखो अगर मैं ग्राफिकल फॉर्म में करूंगा तो काफी आसान हो जाएगा इस तरह से आई कैन प्लॉट अ ग्राफ बिटवीन ओमेगा एंड टाइम सो टाइम के आपको तीन इंटरवल बनाना है 0 टू 10 देन 10 टू 20 देन 20 टू 30 सो 0 टू 10 में इट इज अ यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेटिंग मोशन राइट यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेट करेगा व्हील देन 10 टू 20 में ओमेगा विल बी कांस्टेंट एंड देन 20 टू 30 में फाइनली इट विल कम बैक टू rest so you just have to find out this area right area under omega t curve will give you the rotation or angle covered by this body uh, this wheel right or ye height kitni hogi uh, this will be 40 radian per second right means 10 seconds pe what was the speed of the wheel angular speed of the wheel was 40 second per second 40 radian per second right so this height will be 40 so you can easily find out this area right in terms of triangle and uh, rectangle or directly trapezium so i think you have understood let me know if you still have any confusion we can discuss further okay guys keep working out best of luck bye